A little over a year ago, I joined Christian Filipina as a hopeful skeptic after abandoning all dating apps in America. Hi, Patricia. Patricia's the one who was my consultant. consultant. Yes. I'm on my fourth year now. But after just a week on the side, I was convinced to upgrade my membership and give it a try. And within a month, my life had changed forever. I met Joy, traveled twice to the Philippines, and got engaged. I have peace that I've never experienced before in a relationship. So I asked if I could meet up with Christian Filipina for lunch or a short interview, specifically for this vlog, about what makes Christian Filipina so unique. Okay, we're, we're filming. <laughs> My first question was just how many people were on Christian Filipina right now? We have 3 million registered members. Many already um, met here, special someone. Um, so many don't need to log in anymore. 3 million? Yeah. When, when I was on there looking, it was 2.4 2. or something. Yes. Wow. And so my next question was how many of these were men versus women? Because dating sites in America tend to be overwhelmed with a huge amount of men and very few women. What's interesting um, for men is that the numbers are the reverse of what we are accustomed to. In a typical situation, um, there's about two men for every one woman, and it's hard for men to be successful. Yeah. And here in our community, we have the opposite. There's about two women for each man and that means the numbers are really in a guy's uh, favor because the women here in the philippines know christian filipina and they trust christian filipina they really um take um, the process seriously and this is one of the secrets to our success but um not the only one i think when you started you were like uh, bombarded with a lot of messages. Yeah. Next up, we headed to the SM Mall to the rooftop park because we were trying to find a place that was a little quieter to film the rest of the interview. The restaurant we were at was super noisy. And for the rest of this interview, I'm not going to do as much editing because I just want you guys to see the personalities of these ladies and just hear the conversation how it was. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Marilyn. Um, one of the staff also of Fresh and Filipina and I've been working here for like nine years now. Nine years? Nine years, yes. For those others who have like maybe uh, joined our webinars before, this is the face behind that voice. <laughs> yes, yeah. are you surprised guys? So. <laughs> and uh, I'm just glad that uh, we are part of Joy and uh, Jason's uh, journey right um finding each other so out of your experience what's the average time it takes for a foreigner like myself to find the right lady on christian filipina um you know what jason if you are actively connecting with the ladies um in a week or two yeah you'll find someone however if you are too busy or it depends on what you are looking for uh it takes at least a month or two, a month or two? there are other members who prefer talking to um, multiple ladies and to explore their personalities and then from there until yeah. they um, narrow it down to one. So if you're serious and you're focused, you said what, what two weeks? In two weeks, yes. That's about average. Yeah. Wow. If you're okay. actively okay. If you're active, okay. So it took me a long time because it took me a month. So you're, <laughs> you're on the second, um, second category. <laughs> How does CF deal with spam accounts and spammers? That's a good question, Jason. Of course, everyone who's joining dating um, service, that's really what scares them, right? Uh, to be honest, there's no such thing as perfect. Uh, we have over 3 million members now, right? And we are transparent informing our members that we do not claim that 100% of our members are all honest. Imagine with thousands of new profiles, right? Um, it would be impossible to do all background screening for every single one. That's really challenging. We have our fraud team whose job is to catch those suspicious activities and, uh, you know, um, once proven that they have violated our terms of uh, terms and service, we suspend them. That's our way to let the members know, uh, uh, give this kind of warning. Stop yeah. chatting with this lady, right? And not only that, uh, we have our romance consultants over open 24-7, so we help our members every time you need um, help. Of course, we also encourage our members to report suspicious profile. You know, uh, we listen, and to be fair, 
We do for their monitoring first and take actions when needed. Yeah. It really was helpful for them to be able to look into some girls' accounts. And they would actually look into the accounts and go, oh yeah, well, they're talking to multiple guys the same way, even though they're telling you that you're the only one they're talking to. So it was really great for just being able to weed out the, the girls that were just, you know, lying. And then also one of the things that was surprising to me is you called me right away mm -hmm. once I signed up because that was the first step of verifying that I'm a human. Right. And you have like multiple steps to verify if someone's real, right? Mm -hmm. We really do that because, you know, um, that's our best way to like also um, see if the person that joined us is for real. Yeah. After this, the mall security kicked us off the roof, so we had to go find someplace else to film. Why do you think... Why do you think Joy and I are a good couple? Are we a good couple? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you will, you, 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 the one, you're the one who can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, um, since you started in Christian Filipina and you connected there, knowing that all of the members are being um, screened and checked, so we're sure that um, your intentions, intentions are pure. So. I can see that you're perfect for each other. You know what? The reason Joy and I both felt like we were good for each other mm -hmm. is we both felt like we had peace with the relationship. Right. And we didn't feel that with anybody else. So one of the reasons I wanted to come and actually meet you guys in person is because your sight really changed my life. I felt like I had no future and I felt hopeless and, I, and all the dating I tried to do in America felt well, hopeless. It didn't, it didn't feel like I was ever going to find someone again until I started going this direction. I'm just hopeful that this story of mine can connect with other guys because I know there's a lot of guys, especially in America, that are hopeless and they don't know what to do with their lives because they've had a relationship that fell apart. Meeting you guys is very um, special because it's like you were able to complete our mission, you know? <laughs> yeah to help our members to find their uh, their, their lifetime partner mm -hmm. yeah. and it's really fulfilling because it's not only that we were able to make you say yes to our membership mm -hmm. but it's more job fulfilling that you know we're able to make uh, two people's dream to be uh, possible when they first mentioned this collaboration with you i watched your first video I actually got teary eyes that I was part of this, uh, I was part of their journey and I was one of the people who uh, helped them connect. So I was really teary eyed when I first saw your video. <laughs> oh, this is Jason. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> I just want to thank Patricia and Marilyn for spending some time with us. And if you guys are interested in this service, I recommend signing up and checking out the profiles for a couple days to see if you find anyone you would want to talk to. And if you feel good about it and want to take the plunge, and if you're actually really serious, then I recommend buying a package that feels right to you. And then definitely watch my series on traveling to the Philippines to meet Joy for the first time in Manila.